In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the count if function, as well as how to create a column chart based off of the data that we generate with the count if function. And if you want to follow along with me, I've included the raw data in the description, as well as a video on how to import data into your spreadsheet if you don't know how to do that yet. So here we have our raw data, which is a list of task IDs and the people that the tasks were assigned to. And we want to find how many tasks were assigned to each person. And so what we want to do is count how many times each name appears in our data. So the first thing that we need is a list of names. And how we can do this really quickly is by using the unique function, which removes duplicates. So I'm going to type equals unique parentheses, and then I'm going to specify the range B2 through B. I'm looking through the range B2 through B and telling Google Sheets to remove the duplicates from this range, which in this case automatically generates a list that gives us one of each different name. So now that we have our list of names, we can use the count if function like this equals count if parentheses. And now we're going to specify the range that we're looking through when we're counting. And so this is going to be column B. We're looking through column B. Now type a comma. And now I'm going to specify cell D2. So I'm telling Google Sheets, count how many times the text that is in cell D2 is found in column B. Now I'm going to press enter and our count if function is telling us that the word Alice was found 22 times in column B. And so now I'm going to copy this formula down the column so that it calculates the count for each of the different names. And so I'm going to copy cell E2 and then I'm going to paste it into the rows below and Google Sheets has automatically adjusted our formulas so that in each row, we're counting how many times each name appeared in column B. All right, so the data on the left was not suitable for a column chart, but now that we've summarized the data with the count if function, it's ready for us to add a column chart. And so this is very easy. I'm going to select cell D1 through cell E6, I'm going to click insert on the top toolbar and then click chart and Google Sheets has automatically inserted a column chart for us. Now, if you want, you can select a different type of chart in the chart editor under the setup tab under chart type. And also, if you want, you can customize the chart whatever way that you want. So if you want to learn more about creating charts, I've linked a video below where you can learn to create a variety of charts as well as how to customize them in detail. And if you want to learn how to build dashboards in Google Sheets, check out my full dashboards and data analysis course that I've linked in the description. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and have a great day.